Hello guys, this is the third video of the series for the abstract classes and implementation of geometric shapes. In this video, I am going to implement the 3D shapes, box, cube, sphere and cylinder. These are the formulas for the surface area and the volume of the shape. Let's begin. Let's start with 3D shape class. In the 3D shape class, we need to add two constructors. First constructor, default constructor. And then parameter constructor. and call the parent class constructor from the shape class parameter constructor we did the same three D shape we did the same for the two D shape class default constructor okay that's it we don't need to add anything into 3d shape abstract class okay now we will implement the 3d shape classes box class first okay we know that box has a three sides height width and length like this box width height and length let's code them let's keep them integer private int length private int width private int height constructor and parameter constructor in text int y int length int width int height okay super constructor for the 3d shape class name it box x y length oh. set the okay need to extend it extends 3d shape this dot length is equal to length this dot width is equal to width and height is equal to height and local chain of the constructor center at zero let's say one one and one just for the sake of initialization okay we add getters and setters source insert code getters and setters and add them simple now we override the functions let's copy these functions from here once and then we will use them accordingly it will save a lot of time okay now we display properties this is length length and width
and height height is already there okay and change this one to surface area and this one to volume okay we need to change the names in 3d shape we have surface area and volume and remove abstract method we shortly update it and 3d shape volume okay zero remove abstract and operate these surface area dot surface area and this one is volume okay surface area and volume this is also integer let's update these value we don't need this function here okay box box has six faces we need to calculate the area of six faces so surface area becomes two multiply by length and width plus two multiply by length and height plus two multiply by width and height two faces two faces two faces total six faces okay volume volume is simply the multiplication of all three side lengths length multiply by width multiply by height this is all about a box okay let's add it to our shapes array shapes for new box center at zero let's say one two and three okay let's print and process it run file and here it is this is our box center at zero x zero y and length width height surface area and volume okay now we will implement the cube class cube class is similar to box but it is for the same length in cube all the six sides all the six sides of the cube are same all the three sides three dimensions extends 3d shape okay private int side single side because all the sides are equal default constructor public queue and parameter constructor int x int y and side okay super class call cube x and y this dot side is equal to side local chain zero zero one okay now 
getter method and setter method for the site insert getters and setters and we only have single attribute and it is there now let's copy these three functions that we are going we that that we override let's put the annotation okay copy them okay now this is box and this is cube 6 a square six faces of same length so side multiply by side that's it this is the surface area now the volume volume is side cube same thing because in the box we have variable length of three sides and three dimensions in the cube the three dimensions are same so we will return math dot power side and three this will cal calculate the cube of side that's it we are done and we update this side side and we remove these that's it let's add to the array of shapes okay this is over six object new cube center at zero let's set the side to two okay let's run and test okay here it, oh, here is our cube center at zero side is two and then we have surface area of 24 and the volume is eight okay let's implement cylinder let's sphere first sphere extended extends 3d shape okay let's see how many attributes we need for sphere we need a radius and that's it we need a radius okay private double radius public sphere public sphere int x int y center at x and y and double radius super call x x and y this dot radius is equal to radius and local call local chaining and that is zero zero let's say one okay we need a getter and setter we can insert it from here getter and setter for the radius and we copy the functions from here and we will update them and here are the formulas the area is equal to 4 into pi and r square 4 multiply by math dot pi multiply by math dot p o w and a radius raised to the power of 2 this is surface area of sphere and volume is equal to 3 by 4 pi r cube Three point zero divided by four point zero multiply by math dot pi 
मल्टीप्लाई बाई मैथ डॉट पी ओ मैथ डॉट पावर एंड रेडियस क्यू ओके दैट्स इट दीज आर ओवर दिस इज केयर ओके एंड दिस इज क्यू ओके वी आर डन एंड चेंज दिस वैल्यू रेडियस 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 इज डेसीमल सो वी चेंज द पॉमीटर पॉइंट टू एफ वी आर डन लेट्स टेस्ट इट एड टू द एरे दिस इज फाइव शेप्स सिक्स इज इक्वल टू न्यू स्फेयर सेंटर जीरो 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 एक्स जीरो वाई एंड रेडियस इज इक्वल टू लेस से टू ओके लेट्स रन इट एंड हेयर इट इज वी हैव अ स्फेयर सेंटर एट जीरो जीरो एंड रेडियस इज इक्वल टू टू एंड इट्स सरफेस एरिया इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी वन ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड इट्स वॉल्यूम इज एटीन पॉइंट एटी फाइव लेट्स इम्प्लीमेंट द फाइनल क्लास सिलेंडर also extends 3d shape and let's see how much how many attributes we need okay we need radius we need height okay private double radius private double height okay default constructor and parameter constructor int x int y and on um, height let's say double height double radius super constructor call cylinder x and y these chains are important in in any in either case we call super class constructor or the local chaining of same class constructor super constructor call and this constructor call must be the first statement in the constructor so let's update the attributes this dot height is equal to height this dot radius is equal to radius and this is local chain in in case of local chain the this this statement this chaining must be the first statement inside the constructor or let's say one one Okay, now we insert getter and setter methods as we do in the previous codes. Okay, for both the attributes, that's it. And now we copy the surface area and the volume and the two string method from the sphere class, and we update them and their formula. Okay. Okay. Let's update the surface area. Okay, surface area of cylinder. Okay, two multiply by pi multiply by radius and height plus. Two. Let's group them. Okay, two multiplied by pi multiplied by radius and multiplied by height, and then two multiplied by pi math dot pi and r square radius square. So this is our surface area formula. Now, volume. Volume is equal to math dot pi square and height. Okay, math dot pi is here, and height. Radius square multiplied by height. That's it. We have the volume of the cylinder. Okay, now we change this one to add height. 
radius is already there and height height okay let's run it first add into array this is the last shape that we implemented cylinder centered at 0 0 and its radius is equal to 2 and height is equal to 3 okay that's it uh, height is equal to 3 and radius 2 okay let's run it okay that's it guys we have all the eight shapes printed here and this is our cylinder this is fair cube and box and we did these one in the previous part two video that is all and see you in the next video on some other object oriented concept and topic i think i will going to implement aggregation and composition concept for the next tutorial take care and subscribe to the channel and have a good day thank you